Hey everybody, how's it going? Into Weapons back again with you. Real quick upgrade today for the Vepper 762x54R with 16.5 inch barrel. This is video number 8 of the series that I'm doing on the upgrades to this rifle. This one was a pretty quick one. I needed something that uh, was a front swivel sling. Uh, I didn't have anything really on this rifle and with the CSS 4N they really didn't provide any alternatives off the stock features of the, the 4N. So what I did is I took the original mounting screw here as you can see and I believe that is a 10 32nd screw, 10 32. I hope I'm saying that right, 10 32nd. Um, took that out, ordered a Uncle Mike's QD Quick Detach Super Swivel. Uh, this is the 1001-2 for one inch slings. Uh, you can get the different sling sizes, but what you want is the machine screw in there. It's the machine screw version. The wood screw version isn't going to do you any good. I got that. I cut a quarter of an inch off the actual screw itself. So I took an inch off the, the head of the screw, making sure that you have um, a nut on there. The nut they provide in the package here worked just fine. Screw it all the way on. That way when you're done cutting off the quarter inch of the the bolt here uh, or the screw you can undo uh, that uh, bolt and it will thread it back for you just go back and forth and uh, it'll uh, help you re-thread that bolt after you've you know effectively screwed up the threading on it from cutting it down so I uh, hope that makes sense it's the only way I can really explain it as best as I can I guess uh, but ultimately what you end up with is a QD bolt there that acts as your mounting hardware as well and I hand tightened it as best as I could and then after I hand tightened it I went back with just a pick like this and it went another 45 degrees to allow me to fully seat it which coincidentally allows it to as you can see sit there in the correct position uh, with the hole being perpendicular I guess is what it would be uh, that was, should hopefully allow me to use a Harris bipod on this. That's kind of what I'm going to go for. I'm going to try to order that bipod and put it on here before I put on my angled foregrip on here just to make sure I got enough clearance and room for the mounting of that bipod. But that should be a nice quick detached bipod. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is that going to hold it? I don't know. We'll find out. Let me know if you got any opinions on it. But That's pretty much it. Real quick and simple. Got this off uh, Amazon for... 10 bucks or so, free shipping and handling if you bundle it with a bunch of other stuff, otherwise I don't really know what they charge for shipping and handling on that, probably close to 4 bucks or so. Works real well, 10 bucks, can't go wrong, just got to do a little bit of work on it yourself by, you know, a little hacksaw and hacking it down a little bit, but uh, well worth it. This should give you a couple options to use instead of just using a uh, standard mounting hardware in there. Hope you guys like it, if you have any questions let me know, otherwise I uh, appreciate watching, until next time, take it easy.